for Skylar, he would be pretty annoyed if Chip suddenly caught him off guard. So I think here, when we start looking at the very first fight of the game, that's where we see it, right? Weedy goes in, he doesn't have his ult, can't really do much about this scenario, they trade equally. And this is where RQ is particularly strong. From this point onwards, once level 4 comes by, I think that RQ should have slowed down the pace of the yeah. game, start to focus around like four, at least expecting Weedy to dive into that backline to set up for the big wombo combo. It's a very, very straightforward, direct approach, right? Let's rinse and repeat, right? You go to the back lines, you find two, Weedy will pop the all and yeah, they will overload you with damage. You have the forest up. And one thing that I really like in this current and this specifically in this game, the forest has the wings by wings. Mm -hmm. Give this not. Yeah, and at least for at least for being Farsa, you scale a lot harder than Yeev. Your burst damage is rather ridiculous, and it's very easy to pump out. And I think a couple of fights that TLID ended up losing was mainly because I didn't hit all four of my shots. I missed two out of the four. And when I do hit him, I think it was... No, 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 it was definitely not this one. But as you can see, Farsa not necessarily being in a position where you have to take the portal every single time. Mm. The added range from that feathered airstrike allows you to be a little bit more flexible. Yeah. You just got to be relatively near Witty, you don't have to be on top of him. And that actually brings me to my next question that I really wanted to ask. How long is the cooldown for Chip's ult? Without is it a long me, one? Is it a short I, one? I want to say 40 seconds. Yes. Level 4, right? So level okay. 12, maybe 30 is good. Because I find that quite interesting because mm -hmm. there are a lot of moments where he actually pops in the portals that he utilizes just to bring even one player from TLID in. Like, we saw a couple moments that he actually utilized it for just Fabian to come in and to follow up into the team fight that he had to kind of go back before. Or maybe Fabian was actually chilling on a certain neutral objective that Weedy successfully uh, dodged. Well, I mean, think of it this way, right? Because when you're using that portal, it's also a transportation pool. So if, let's say, let's say, if you're a jungler, right? You do a particular clear, you, you're going to repeat that process. You're going to go start from your orange all the way back up to your purple. But guess what? Lord is spawning on the orange side of your jungle. And I'm already a purple. I don't want to walk all the way there. So Chip can actually teleport you real fast in those types of situations, especially when you know that, hey, RWM is down. We know for the fact that the Deadly Catch just got used. So it's pretty safe for us to transport you here. And I feel like that far pick. Well, let's look at our MVP. If it, if it's not Woody, I, I would have to Woody give the Woody Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and here it is, the player of the game presented to you by the official tournament smartphone, Samsung Galaxy S24 FE. So let's talk about this chip just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So chip, usually, in all regions, it's basically 100% bad. And for good reason, because Chip forces you to think about the game differently macro-wise, right? Valentina, for an example, makes you think about the draft a little bit different with what ultimates you're giving. But in terms of entire gameplay, I think that RQ did a really good job at actually surviving some, somewhat in the early game, because Chip can easily just gank you out of nowhere. And especially for...